I was investing in long-term rental and uh, investing passively in multifamily syndications. But um, I, I started hearing about short-term rentals and I'm like, what is that? You know, and, and I remember hearing somebody saying, there's no way you could self-manage a short-term rental, especially from a distance. You, that's not something you do. That's, you know, only idiots do that. And then I started looking into technology and I said, oh, wait a minute. Like this can be done, right? Who's this? Oh, you're an entrepreneur? Oh, you're a real estate investor. Oh, you're trying to learn from those who did it. Well, come into the lab then. Put your white coat on, gloves on, notepad, and let's build y'all. Real estate experiment, what is happening y'all today? I have the pleasure of having two practitioners in the lab with us and a special, special shout out I gotta give to guesty for hosts and you know with that we do have a surprise two surprise guests um this episode is brought to you by guesty for hosts because that's what we use as operators to uh run our airbnb and short-term rental uh, uh business and units collectively with a platform that can help us uh truly uh connect us to our cleaning team uh give the guests a great experience and even keeps our books in line uh, because we own, we co-host, and we are always trying to make sure that we're on top of it and giving a seamless experience for everybody on the team. So just want to give a big shout out to that before we get into it. But today I have Marcus Nordvik here in the lab with us from Guesty for Hosts. He's a general manager and manages the product, which we're so excited to have him here because he's going to basically give us the juice on how he's able, how they're able as a team to provide such a, a product that makes an, a, an impactful difference in the way we operate our businesses. And then we have a practitioner in the lab, just like myself, Alex Sabio, dialing in from California as well, who also is one who uses the application and now is as an operator uh, is sharing the good word with his peers in the healthcare space so that they can also automate their business with a tool such as Guesty for Host that is incremental as our business, as business owners in the space. So guys, without further ado, welcome to the lab. My goodness, what is, what is going on, gentlemen? Thanks, Ruben. Excited to be here. Absolutely. Ruben, so what's listen, up? Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got, we got, we got a lot of good energy going on in the vibe, uh, in the lab right now. And I'm really, what I'm stoked about is being able to have, you know, a real case study, Alex, like myself, who uses a platform that we're so grateful for. And then we have someone on the team from Guesty, who is the general uh, manager of the product. So Marcus, I want to just, you know, you were about to say this offline. And I was like, no, 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 share the juice with team. How did you come about coming into and stepping into a space as you know, the short term rental space, what is the background and how do you bring that to the table and how do you guys continue to grow such a, uh, a company that's making a huge difference for us short term rental owners? Give us a little bit of background there. Sure, I'll try and keep it somewhat brief. Uh, so <laughs> I entered the space uh, over 10 years ago, back in about 2011. Uh, I, was a, I was and continue to be a technology entrepreneur uh, and I was starting a company with a couple of guys who were running short term rentals as we were trying to start this company. We were trying to figure out what to build and they kept talking about how everything was so difficult managing their short-term rentals and so we decided to solve the problems that were in front of us uh, and built a company called my vr um, some of your listeners may have heard of um, yep. and so we built that up through 2011 through you know 2020 2021 um, as a property management software company we were a competitor of guesties um, Guesty for pros, not so much Guesty for hosts. But what's interesting for both Guesty and MyVR, when we tried to enter the space back in 2011, we were actually focused on hosts because there was no software that served the segment. Everyone was focused on enterprise. Uh, and when we, when we entered the space, um, a couple of things got in our way. And so it was very attractive. The majority of inventory in the country remains to be uh, managed by hosts, um, but the industry wasn't ready. Like, you know, the, the channels weren't available for connection. Um, there wasn't a, a market with services like dynamic pricing or cleaning management where people could tap in and really tie all that stuff together. And then the hosts weren't ready. There wasn't as much competition in the market. Um, and so it was easier on the supply side to find the demand. 
you could back then and verbo was the big uh channel homeway back then yeah you got for you know three four hundred dollars a listing that could be your marketing budget you didn't even have to think about it after that and then home away would get you all the demand for you know a, a very lucrative short-term rental operation on the side and so there wasn't as much demand to go outside of that to figure out what software could do to keep you competitive uh, within the marketplace. And so both Guesty and MyVR evolved to go up market a bit, more like mid-market and capitalize on these hosts that were professionalizing into five, 10 plus units. Um, and then the self-service side of things never really came to fruition. So fast forward 10 years, uh, MyVR was acquired by Guesty uh in april of 2021 i came over with that team uh, and then i have moved over to become the general manager for our product offering guesty for hosts which now does target what i was originally trying to target 10 plus years ago uh hosts in the market and, and what they need now in this very different landscape to remain competitive um and just one other piece of history there your porter is actually the platform mm -hmm. that became Guesty for us. So that was an other acquisition that Guesty did. And so we are now in the process of rolling that in to Guesty as well. We rebranded to Guesty for hosts. Um, and so for the various names that I'm throwing out, that's another one to consider and sort of the journey and what, what became Guesty for hosts today. Mm, I love that. And I'm going to get to that in a second, but I want to uh, make sure that we get uh, the practitioner Alex in because I'm going to, I'm going to preface this in, in a way where, you know, Alex, you are a user of Guesty. So um, just like myself. So, you know, for someone who's listening, who's like operating a short-term rental, you know, without, you know, Guesty for hosts, can you just briefly describe how, what gaps does it fill in your day-to-day? -day? Cause you told me as well, you have your own W2 as well. And you're also scaling an operation of Airbnbs and you have uh, more than a handful uh, to say the least. So what gaps does it feel or pain points do you feel that Guesty for Hosts is filling for you today for someone who's not using the application? Hey Ruben, thanks a lot. Uh, yes, Guesty for Hosts to me is a game changer. I mean. I was investing in long-term rental and uh, investing passively in multifamily syndications. But um, I, I started hearing about short-term rentals and I'm like, what is that? You know, and, and I remember hearing somebody saying, there's no way you could self-manage a short-term rental, especially from a distance. You, that's not something you do. That's, you know, only idiots do that. And then I started looking into technology and I said, oh, wait a minute, like this can be done, right? And so what Guessy for Host does is there's so many features there, but the automation with the messaging with the guest is crucial. That's like 80% of it. You're setting expectations there. And I'm in healthcare and I work a ton, right? Um, two years ago, when I first started, I was working six, seven days a week and I'm in a hospital where there's terrible Wi-Fi. And so when you're able to automate these messages to guests, and setting the expectations right off the bat, um, that eliminates a lot of your touch points where guests aren't having to uh, call you and ask you, what's the Wi-Fi password again? What's all of this stuff when you've already sent them that message? And like I said, I'm in healthcare when we do a lot of, uh, in, in the hospital, we have like these smart phrases, like let's say a, a patient comes in with this, we type in this note where it, it gives you like all this pre-made pre messaging. So I was used to that. And so sometimes when guests have a question about like, hey, where's the uh, nurse restaurant uh, to eat or something silly like that, right? I have already made like an automated like message to answer them. So where it just takes one second to answer them. So that's just mm -hmm. one of the features there, so. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, what's, uh, what, I gotta ask you, Alex, what's, what's your favorite feature if you're writing out? Like if you can only like take one, um, and you may have already said, but I want to hear it and I'll tell you what mine is. It's hard to say what the feature, because there are different managers that do different things. Um, yeah, yeah. but it's obviously the, the, the messaging, right? Okay. Um, the other thing, if I could choose the second thing that was a game changer when they improved it or, or added that feature was the door lock code. That that's, it automatically, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. It automatically gives a guest the door lock code and it's the last four digits of their phone number 
I used to have guests message me all the time. Hey, what's the mm -hmm. Wi-Fi door lock or, or, or what's the door lock code? And the thing is, it would take time out of my day to answer them. But my messaging says, hey, the, the last four digits of your phone number is your door code. And the thing is, they're able to share it among, amongst all these other people and they're able to get in and out. That's been a huge game changer right yeah. there. And for yeah. 75 cents, totally worth it. I don't oh, know why 100%, 100%, 100%. you are trying to do it. Yeah, It doesn't make sense to me, yeah. but... Well, but yeah, that's been a game changer. Love well, it. part of it too is just, Alex, you mentioned this is simply not knowing, right? And I want to get back to Marcus to fill in some of those gaps, but I'll tell you what mine is just for experimentation. Um, you know, Alex, you did take one of my favorites because we have ours, you know, integrated with August Lock. I know there's a few vendors that they're integrated with where you can have the auto, auto code sent out. But us, it's also the auto reviews, right? And for mm -hmm. us, we're in the business yeah. of, getting reviews so we even have a template that goes out to set the expectations and say hey thank mm. you so much for staying with us you know uh we hope you had a five-star stay we left you a five-star review we hope that you can do the same now the, yeah. when you're doing like for the algorithm it's so important that you're kind of putting that in we have that as a template and then we have the auto review that leaves that has about i think 30 different templates so it doesn't look like it's uh mm. you know automated it's that to me yeah. is is incredible right um, yeah. and, and so I think if you're listening out there and you don't have all that, you need to pay attention to and a lot an additional feature is for me, like we also co-host as well. So I'm able to bring out, and I found this out the other day, cause we used, I used to send the report out with the link, but you even can create a portal for your team to have access to that. I'm like, these guys thought of everything. Experimentation. I always experiment. And the reason why is I'm always trying to find the best tool, the best method, and the best vehicle to help me get to my end goal. One of the tools that we use in the short-term rental space is Guesty for Hosts. Now, Experimentation, you know that I love to test things and I wouldn't be sharing with you anything that I don't use myself. As a short-term rental super host, Airbnb super host, listings that we own and co-host at the same time, I can tell you that there's no better software that allows us to streamline our business. Right now, currently, there's actually three properties right now that are currently where guests are checking in and I'm here with you and I did not need to send in check-in instructions for this for these current properties right there are multiple ways that you can streamline your operation from on the front end and on the back end from being able to create a website from being able to get income reports for your team to looking at statistics to setting up auto reviews to integrating your smart lock so that you don't have to sit here and send every day and remind yourself to send the, the passcodes for your smart locks. No, instead you can integrate directly the exact same way that you can actually send your cleaners a link so that they don't have to remind themselves uh, when they need to go to cleanings. There's text reminders that go out. There's links that can go out for them. This is a tool that if you're looking to give a smooth experience for your team on the back end, it will truly reflect and it does for your guests on the front end. Make sure you go to host.guesty.com and use our unique link. Our unique link will be in our bio, in the show notes. If you're currently watching this, you'll see it right here at the bottom of my screen. Use this unique link so that you can tell Guesty that I sent you. You don't want to miss out on this. You need a PMS, property management software in your business if you're looking to operate like a super host that you deserve to be so that your guests can have the best experience that they deserve to have at your properties. Again, that host.guesty.com. Use our unique link that is here on the screen, in the bio, and in the show notes if you're listening to this, guys. Happy hosting. But now, Mark, is that you've heard that the, the practitioners you know, if you're listening to us as users, and I know you're getting tons of user feedback, and I'd like to ask you how you guys are getting that. But when you hear what we said, is there any gaps that you want to cover that you're like, you know, and, you know, while we have you here, you know, you guys failed to mention this, or also this is the direction we're going into, because I, I can only imagine that you know, the short term rental industry is, I would say still a young industry. So as you're listening to us speaking right now as users, you know, what else, A, a gap that we missed, or B, a, a gap that you see is available that you want to, you know, kind of put out there maybe as a teaser that you might be looking into as you see the future of the short-term rental space grow. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Um, yeah. Thanks for the, the kind words about the product. I think the, one of the big advantages of having 
joined up with the guesty team. I mean, both your Porter coming in and then myself as a part of it is we get to take advantage of a lot of what Guesty's already built. And so there's so much, you know, as technologists, you know, uh, around supporting an application, um, everything from the customer facing side, but also from the infrastructure side that needs to be in place to make something that's reliable for our users. And one of the biggest things we hear from our customers when asking about customer feedback, customer feedback it's peace of mind. And so, and I think a lot of that stems from the fact that for a lot of folks who are using this product, this isn't their day job, right? They're not sitting in front of a computer all day focused on this. They want this to be existing as passive income. If you have to think about it outside of whatever your normal processes are, that's disruptive for the other tasks that you have in your life. And so tapping into the internal and externally facing infrastructure within Guesty, I think is a huge advantage for our platform moving forward. Um, in terms of the things that I think maybe don't get touched on as much that I think are very powerful about the platform, um, kind of relate to what I was just describing with, you know, a lot of folks aren't in front of their computer all day doing this. You can do everything in our product on your phone. And so unlike other systems where there may be, you know, an Android or Apple app that's um, a kind of pared down. And so you might end up with like, well, you can do these two things because the company has decided that those are the things that are important for you to be able to do on the go. We have a, a mobile first setup. And so it can be virtually anything you want to do uh, that you can do at your computer. You can do it from your phone, which I think is a pretty big advantage when considering what I was describing earlier as the persona that we're looking for, you know, someone like Alex, who has a day job in the, in the medical field, um, he might need to do something we hadn't thought about while he's at work. And he doesn't have okay. to go from the computer to do that. He can do that from his phone. Uh, in terms of looking forward, I think, you know, we have a pretty, pretty long roadmap ahead of us. Um, but there, again, when thinking about kind of tapping into Guesty, so it's probably worth mentioning you know, we have this Guesty for Host product. It is really focused on being good at the fundamentals. And then we have this, you know, Guesty product that's existed for 12 years. Internally, we call it Guesty for Pros now. It's much broader. There's so much more going on. And it's so broad, it's not self-service. Guesty for Host, you sign up for a free trial, you set it up yourself, we're there to support you. But generally, it was designed, you can do it on your own. Guesty for Pros is you know, looking to the future, you want to grow your business, you want to focus on optimization. And so you have a lot of features around like advanced analytics and other things like that, that exist in that side of the, the business. Um, and I can't get into the specifics, but there's a lot there for us to tap into on the guest. Mm. So, so it's, it sounds like Marcus, you guys are, are, are and correct me if I'm wrong. Are you trying to take a, you know, almost take us a, a, a user for guesty for hosts and take them through the grow with the user base, right? Like I'll help them start their self-managed business and then kind of grow into the pro phase. Is that, is that the vision for you guys to, 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 to graduate with the user or is yeah. it a just complete different avatar? Yeah. How can I briefly respond to this? So, uh, as, so Guesty as the leading platform for property management solutions has a goal of having the right product for any kind of inventory at any scale. And so, um, yes, we absolutely wanna be able to facilitate people from, hey, I'm doing this on the side. Well, this is actually turning into something for me. I want to take it to the next level. And so internally now we have the scope to accommodate that. One of the reasons, not one of, a big reason your Porter was acquired by Guessy was, Guesty was not self-service. And so we brought in a self-service tool to lay the foundation for us to even have that available for mm. um, And so now underneath the Guesty umbrella with these two product offerings, we can pretty much facilitate the full flow on the short-term rental side. And, you know, there's a lot more going on around being able to serve apart hotels and other sort of verticals. But on the short-term rental side, generally, like we have this, this flow now, this progression that people can take 
while staying within the guestee family. And there are, of course, advantages to the change management you need to go through if it's all under the same company to be able to make that transition possible. And we're making that smoother all the time. Um, I think on the flip side, there are things in Guestie for Pro that are still relevant for Guestie for Hosts that might not exist there. And so how we kind of end up melding this world together is I think where a lot of the, the fun stuff in the future is gonna come down the pike. I love that. And so when, how, how does, uh, or at what point, cause by the way, I'm gonna put it out there into the experiment nation uh, lab here, uh, that that's what we're optimizing for boutique hotel, you know, but at what point do, uh, does someone like, you know, like Alex and myself uh, go for pro, you know, who is it for? Is it a guy with five units? Is it a guy with 10, you know, it, you know, just, just for our listeners, cause some might be with guest for hosts and they actually might not know what you're talking about, that there is this next level. So what, at what point, is it is it right for me? Would you yeah, say it's a it's a great question, um, and it's it's an individual question. But so we we've put up general guidance. If you're in the one to three listing range, mm -hmm. and you're checking out Guesty, start by checking out Guesty for House. If you're above that, it's worth it for you to start checking out Pro because you're likely in a scenario where the value is very clear from all of the things that pro can do from, you know, accounting to business intelligence, et cetera. Um, however, you know, we've had people come in who have zero units, but they just raised a fund. <laughs> they should right. probably be looking at Guesty for pros. And so it's gonna be an individual context. And so it's really gonna come down to, you know, what do you need the tool to do for you? Maybe you are running this as a side business, but you absolutely wanna have the best of everything across the board set up for you. Okay, pro, you know, pro could be the choice, but we try and provide guidance one to three, start with start with hosts. More than that, start with pro. Um, but of course, you know, you're gonna you're gonna work out that decision as you learn about each. I love that. I love that. I got a um, question from the audience real quick. I know where I wish we could have had you guys even for a longer time here in the lab, but we're ready, getting right at the bottom of the hour here. Um, so as far as it sounds like here, what elements do you feel we're missing from other PMS that you put in for? Okay. So what elements did you feel were missing from other PMS that you inputted into Guesty for hosts, right? Like if I'm someone's shopping around, uh, what was, I'm sure you guys did your comparative market analysis, et cetera. What, what are some of the biggest gaps that you feel that you guys cover for someone who's listening, who may, you know, still be on the fence? Yeah, no problem. I mean, as as mentioned earlier, we're really focused on knowing the fundamentals that mm -hmm. let you get the peace of mind you need to just have this thing more or less on autopilot. So channel management, huge. Uh, automations, messaging and otherwise, huge. Visibility into all those things for sure. And then mobile is another huge yeah. point of that. The fact that this is available to you ubiquitously. Got it. And lastly, right here, there's a question around VRBO integration. If that, you know, will improve going forward. It sounds like this person saying it's, it seems to be more friendly for Airbnb, but maybe there's a, some integration there that you guys are working on. What do, you, what do you have to say to that? Yeah, the short answer there is we have a large internal effort focused on Verbo. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting as, as we see these different platforms come into play. Uh, Alex, uh, I can't thank you enough as well for joining us. Uh, is there anything uh, that you want to share for our listeners that they're like, hey, guys, if you're out there and you're doing what I'm doing, uh, you know, this is the one tip I would give you for either in your Airbnb business and or combining it with a, with a PMS software. Do you have any tip for Experiment Nation that comes to mind first? Well, um, I want to expand on something Marcus talks about with mobile. Um, I was with, uh, I was in the airport with my buddy Lenny the boss, and he was asking me about my direct booking website. And he just signed up for um, Guess You for Hosts. Uh, I've been using it for a month now, and I said, "Yeah, we could do it right now." And it literally took me two minutes to create a direct booking website. And he's like, "That's it?" I said, "Yeah, you're up and running, man. Your your direct booking website's done." Um, and so the mobile aspect of, um, of Guesty for Hosts is crucial uh, because you want to be able to do everything on your phone. There are going to be a lot of different PMSs out there with high-level PMSs, 
and then some extremely basic ones. But bang for your buck, Guesty for Host does it for me. I don't want it to be complicated. I don't want it to be too basic either. And the price is just right. So that's just a big shout out to Guesty for Host for me. Thank Absolutely. You. And and guys, gentlemen, it's been real in the lab right now. So my biggest key takeaway too is the integration. I think anybody who understands the future, you know, being able to integrate with Price Labs, some of these smart lock systems, I think for me, I always look at that in a platform that is looking to integrate with, uh, you know, other core competencies that maybe they don't specialize in, but they know you need as a user. That's important for me. And so uh, if you're tapping into this, guys, uh, check it out, man. It's a, you, you need your tools in the lab to be successful as a short-term rental operator. And I think we have a good tech team behind us and, and good people who understand uh, the trajectory and, and journey we're going, trying to go through. Gentlemen, I cannot wait to have you sometime uh, another time, but I know we got to run for now. So uh, with that said, gentlemen, is there anything, last words you want to part? Any, any, how can people tap in with you, Marcus, and what you guys are doing? Obviously, for, for, for me, I know the, the URLs and I have that in the show, show, show notes, but how can we tap in if they have questions, they want to check out the demos, any trials going on, where can we tap in more to hear, to find out more about the platform? Yeah. I mean, so Guess You For Us is on all the socials. Obviously we have our, we have a host.guessy.com. You can send me a direct email. It's Marcus at guessy.com. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to answer questions or find out who can answer the questions for you. But uh, we have, we, we want to hear the feedback. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate it very much, Marcus. Thank you, Alex. Abio. And you guys make sure that you click in the show notes for all the links. I keep your hands on a wheel if you're listening to this. And you can also obviously use my affiliate link as well. That way you can let guests for hosts know that I sent you. And just like that, we are out. <laughs>